Good morning, people. Watch Women 65. Lisa Boyce here. Um, yesterday, I was going to do something on this asteroid that is supposed to be a near near Earth thing. Uh, but I was trying to find something new on it, but I, I something came out out of uh, Prophecy News um, PNW. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read this because it's kind of interesting. Um, what this says, um, and I was looking for, and I, the articles that I looked up didn't have what I was looking for. This one happened to have what I was, uh, looking for because the government's involved and they wrote something in 2018. So they had to have known that something was coming. Now, whether this thing hits earth or not, we don't know. Nobody really knows. <clears throat> um, if it's this big, in my personal opinion, if it's this big, it's, and it uh, detonates in the atmosphere, that alone could cause damage. But I'm going to read this to you, and I'm going to link the article uh, in the description box. Um, it says, in the book of Revelation, chapter 8, we are warned that one day this earth will experience a devastating encounter with an object from space, most likely an asteroid. The space object is called wormwood because it will cause bitterness, poison, and death due to its impact with the earth, causing one-third of the waters to become poisoned. That's in the book of Revelation. While this weekend's asteroid approach is not going to hit earth, its close approach reminds us of such verses and the relationship between prophecy and the universe in which God has created. Asteroid 2002, PZ-39 is what they call it. It's predicted to travel past our planet at speeds of more than 35,500 miles per hour. And it's making what NASA is calling a close approach tomorrow, February 15th, around 11.05 or 6.05 Eastern Standard Time in the morning. NASA has estimated it to be around 3,280 feet, which is long enough to destroy a continent. In 2018, this is what I was looking for, and I couldn't find this in the others because I remember this was um, <clears throat> reported on. In 2018, the White House published a report by the National Science and Technology Council on the dangers posed by so-called near-Earth objects, or NEOs, like asteroid, like this asteroid that's coming. According to the report, impactors measuring between 1,312 feet and 5,249 feet in, di in diameter can destroy an entire continent. Such objects would strike Earth with a minimum energy of 60, that's minimum, a minimum energy of 60 megatons of TNT, which is more than the most powerful nuclear device ever tested. Such an asteroid could trigger a chain reaction of earthquakes, tsunamis, and other secondary effects far beyond the immediate impact area. This is what I'm saying. I think if this thing blows up in the atmosphere, which is what they're projecting it will do, that could cause a trigger of earthquakes as well. Any fast-moving object that comes within <clears throat> around 4.65 million miles is considered to be potentially hazardous by cautious space organizations. Last month, the Earth experienced a similar a smaller space rock that slipped past NASA's radar and was only discovered less than 24 hours before its close flyby of Earth. That rock slipped by NASA. There was a rock that actually slipped by NASA's radar. This one was known as Asteroid 2020 BH6. The object flew extremely close to the planet's surface, skimming Earth's closer then the moon traveling 22,800 miles per hour and buzzed Earth from only 37,200 miles away. 
To put it in perspective, the moon sits at an average distance of 238 or 238,900 miles from Earth. This means that the asteroid passed at 0.18 times the distance to the moon during the near miss. That's close. Um, last month, we included an important news story on developments in this area, and they're reposting it here. So it says here, why do they know? U.S. and China are developing, U.S. and China, wait a minute, not U.S. and China, my bad. U.S. and Russia, <laughs> I said that for a reason, I don't know why. U.S. and Russia developing plan to deal with incoming asteroids. When the Russians take decisive action is usually for a reason. And as you will see below, the Russians have suddenly decided that now is the time to create an organization that will be tasked with detecting and tracking potentially destroying incoming asteroids. Are they doing this now because they have fully decided that it's a good idea or something gotten has something gotten their attention? Of course, they are not likely to publicly admit if they have come to the conclusion that a gigantic space rock is heading directly towards us. Just like the U.S. government, the Russian government is very interested in maintaining social order. And so they would probably delay telling the public about the potential asteroid impact for as long as possible. This is an interesting article, so I'm going to leave the, the description. I'm going to leave the link to the article in the description box. It says, in life where people do far more important than what they say, and the new center that the Russians have just created will not just be watching giant space rocks. According to Futurism, the new organization will be a change of making sure they don't collide with Earth. Russian Space, Energy, Russian space Agency uh, Roskomos is creating a center devoted to monitor, monitoring meteors, comets, and asteroids to ensure they don't collide with Earth, even if it means having to blow them up in space. So I guess they're going to send Bruce Willis up there to blow this thing up like he did in the movie Armageddon. Ah, but somebody has to be left behind to detonate the thing. <laughs> As part of the creation of monitoring system and information support for the safety of space activities in near-Earth space, we plan to launch the Russian Center for Small Celestial Bodies whose main task will be to de detect and track celestial bodies approaching Earth. Certainly nobody can fault the Russians for allocating resources towards his purpose. So I'm going to let you read the rest of this. It's interesting, to say the least. Um, <clears throat> but I think it's going to be a near miss. I think it's going to explode. Um, I don't think it's going to impact uh, the earth. And if it does, to, die is, uh, to live as Christ, to die is gain. We get to be with the Father early. And there again, the other scenario, what comes up, we go, what comes down, we go up. So, but I wanted to give you that because I wanted to find the report that said that the government signed something say, stating that um, they released this uh, report stating that near uh, Earth objects, they released an action plan. That's what I wanted to find. I like I said, I remember them doing something like that, and um, FEMA's involved in that also. So, like I said, they knew something was going on. They knew this thing was coming, and they didn't tell nobody about it in 2018. So, and like I said before, like I just read, the 18-page document outlines the steps that NASA and FEMA will take over the next 10 years to 
both prevent dangerous asteroids from striking the Earth and prepare the country for potential consequences of such an event. In other words, if FEMA's involved, they're preparing for death. And that could explain why there are so many of these reported camps and casket, uh, caskets around. They're preparing for something. But fortunately, the church won't be around. Thank God. I'm going to come back on later with some other stories as well. But in the meantime, have a blessed morning. Thank you.